Okay, so this is a video about how to parse your Slidify so that your Slidify modifications can uh, be made. First thing that you do is that you go to this link here. Okay, so just follow this link. I probably have it on the video, uh, the comments, uh, but just follow the link. You're then going to get to this page right here. And what you're going to do is file and then download. Okay, so now you got your uh, local file and you're going to unzip it. That's it. So, file is unzipped in, on my desktop. Next thing, I go to our studio. Now, in order to get here, you have to have your uh, R installed. If you're on a Mac, you have to have G4 Trend, TSL, TK, all those things. I'm assuming you already have that. So, with you on, uh, on our studio, what you do is file, open file. Later on, you can use the keyboards. I'm just trying to make this simpler. Uh, navigate to your desktop, open my presentation, and then open uh, index.rmd. That's it. Now, here, what I'm going to do is, this section here, you have to keep as is. Don't touch it. Don't touch the hyphens. Leave the hyphens here. The portions that you can modify are number one, title. So this is a title. Number two, subtitle. You can put whatever here. Whatever. Author, Ricardo, job. Jack of all trades, master of none. And then from here on are your slides. So let's delete this stuff here. Uh, in here, I'll put two pound signs, a space. Notice that I have a space between the three hyphens in this. In here, I'll put a title for my first slide. From here on, it's all marked down, so I can, like, you know, like, first item, uh, second item, blah, blah, blah. Once I want to write my second slide, all I do is that I add uh, three hyphens, okay? And then sp to, uh, a space again, and two pound signs and next title, so on and so forth. Very important, you have to have three hyphens, not three uh, underscores, a space above and a space below. The first three hyphens have no space, space on top, uh, no space uh, over here. And then I save this. Once I save, uh, all I do is I click on knit HTML. Oh, I forgot. So, very important. Um, I need to have uh, Slidify already installed. Here we go. So, Slidify already installed. Uh, and once I have Slidify already installed, I have to check the box. So now I call the library, okay? Once I do this, I click here, and here are my, sli my slides. Uh, 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 one, one very important thing. So um, if I go to this page, if I look at the, the, the folder here, you notice that by the, the time I click on knit HTML, it automatically uh, creates my index HTML. So if I double click this here, it's going to open up on my uh, slide, uh, on, sorry, on my browser. And then I can just put this on uh, full view, full screen, and I can navigate. That's pretty much it. Again, the assumption behind this tutorial is that number one, uh, you already have uh, a our studio uh, in the development version of Slidify installed. Uh, if you don't, just drop an email and I'll create another video uh, just to show you how to do that. Bye.